Okay, let's try this again. This is like weeks and weeks in a row. So, welcome everyone to this week's Wednesday edition of Cooking with Amy in Bristol. And you can see Bristol as is excited as he always is to be here because he gets treats. Um, he used to sit here willingly. Now I have to bribe him. Um, so today's recipe, we're actually not going to be using any um, oven. Uh, we're not going to be even using the barbecue. I don't know about you, but it is hot and it takes a lot for me to say it's hot because I love heat. I love humidity, but today it is hot. I actually put my hair up. It's getting to be as big as my butt. Um, so we are actually going to be doing all of the cooking in the microwave. This is a delicious dinner that you can serve hot or cold. Uh, and also gives you the opportunity to add protein into it if you would like uh, at a later date or for uh, I've got a vegan daughter who's actually here uh, a little bit for the summer so therefore I'm actually just going to keep the entire dish vegan and then we can add protein to it if we would like. I'm also going to be making a really fast dessert as well and again something that we can keep into the fridge that we can all be eating and sharing. Are you excited to make this recipe or to have some more cookies? Yeah, exactly. Um, so today's dish is uh, called the Mexican quinoa bowl. Uh, like I said, there's no meat in it whatsoever, but you can add to it. In fact, tonight, I know Dave's gonna add um, shrimp to his and Kiara will probably add chicken to hers and Lauren and I will probably just have it meatless. And again, on a day like today, it's nice over a bed of, of lettuce. Prep time, it takes no time to prep this meal and start to finish is about 20 minutes. So I'll be able to completely cook it for you in the 20 minutes and in between, I'm actually gonna be whipping up a really nice fruit salad. Uh, and normally I'm not a huge fan of fruit salad because it's got apples and oranges and all funky stuff into your fruit salad. This is a really simple one that I love, and you actually even do a little bit of dressing, excuse me, a little bit of dressing in there. Hello, Barb, I'm so glad you're here because I was afraid Facebook once again wasn't working. So, we're gonna start off with the rock crock, and I have talked about the rock crocks in the past. What I love about the rock crocks, uh, different than a stone, um, is that A, you can put them like a stone into the oven, in the microwave, the fridge, the freezer, the dishwasher, um, but one step as well is that you can put it on to the barbecue. Uh, they retain heat and they can go to 725 degrees Fahrenheit because they are clay based versus the stones which are stone based. Uh, they are glazed and because of the glaze it allows you to toss it into the microwave. I actually use the Dutch oven size which is the larger size. I actually use it quite often um, for example, I cook my bread in it. So yesterday I whipped up a couple loaves of bread for the week and I just cook it right into this. There's so many ways that you can do it. This also as well has a uh, base that then can turn into a crock pot. So try saying that three times, rock, crock, crock pot. Yeah, exactly. It actually takes me a minute to figure out what I'm gonna say. So what is great about that is you can start something onto the stove top and then when it's prepared and you wanna keep it warm, you can then put it onto the base, plugging it into your counter and that's awesome as well. So today this entire meal is done into the microwave, really fast and easy, and I'm excited to share this recipe with you all. So we're just gonna start off with one cup, which I just realized I forgot to take out my cup, my measuring cup. We're gonna take one cup of quinoa. So I have a, 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 a tri-color quinoa. That's what I had, so that's what we're gonna use. So I'm just gonna put one cup of quinoa right into the rock crock itself. And then I'm gonna add a cup of vegetable broth as well. And the vegetable broth, um, I have pre-measured. I am using the Epicure vegetable broth. I don't know if any of you out there have tried it. It's delicious. It's extremely tasty. And it actually has some nutritional yeast in it as well. Um, so it's already automatically got a beautiful flavor. I'm just stirring it around because it has settled because I did um, pre-mix it. So like I said, I'm just gonna add one cup of the broth to the one cup of quinoa. And I'm just tossing that right into the, to the, in, 
into the uh, a bowl and then I'm going to microwave it for 10 minutes. And while that is cooking, and I believe with the lid on, come on the quinoa. Yes, it says covered. Okay. It's been so long since I made this. Um, it's delicious. So I am throwing that into the microwave for 10 minutes. My microwave smells like popcorn. I made popcorn this morning for my BNI group. Okay, so while that's going on, we're gonna cut a bell pepper into quarters. So what I did is I just took the seeds out. This is the smallest bell pepper I have ever seen. Uh, that's all the Superstore had yesterday. So we're gonna cut the bell pepper into quarters and we're also gonna take a zucchini and we're gonna cut the zucchini. So I've already taken the ends off the zucchini and I am actually going to use today the Rapid Prep Mandolin because I have it and why would not? So really simple because then I can cut all the vegetables quite quickly. Now when I do send out this recipe, uh, you're going to see that it calls for corn. I didn't have any corn. I didn't realize I didn't have any frozen corn. I normally keep it because I like to have it into salad. Um, so instead, I'm actually going to use some edamame. So whatever you have in the house that would make a nice alternative to this, go crazy. Uh, it's, you know, not set in stone. And you all know that at the bottom of this recipe, since it's called Mexican quinoa, you can imagine what is required to toss in it, which would be that gross stuff called cilantro. So I obviously am not order, uh, adding cilantro to mine. I'm going to order, oh, I'm not ordering anything. I'm going to add curly parsley to mine. Because so parsley gives it a nice flavor uh, and adds to the cumin that we're gonna add to it and kind of helps enhance it. Uh, but it doesn't have that yucky taste that cilantro does. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the um, cucumber for, or zucchini first. Uh, slice, and I'm gonna do it at a five. So I'm just gonna toss that zucchini in there. I had it on the wrong function. Sorry about that. It's all right. It's not it either. Slicing. Goodness gracious. There we go. So I'm just going to slice that. I'm going to show you what it does. And I know I've talked about the rapid technique really often. So I would like it in slices, but as well, you could even slice it this way. There's no right or wrong. So I am gonna take the pepper and I'm gonna cut it in half. And I'm just gonna use one of my, um, my little paring knives. They come in a three pack, they're $10.50. Super easy, they make great gifts. If you do give Knox as a gift, you're supposed to give a penny as well, just for good luck. Um, and so I love the fact that they're, they're easy, they're fast, they're dishwasher safe, and they slice up really fast. So again, I'm just going to slice up those peppers. And you can see there how fast and easy that is. Peppers are sliced, zucchini sliced. I don't even have to use anything else. So I'm going to keep that going. The microwave is, okay, so while we cut the peppers up, remove the baker from the microwave, stir in the vegetables and the garlic. Okay. So, while we're waiting for the microwave, I'm gonna move that. We've got the vegetables done. I've got some black beans that I have opened. I have opened them with the um, can opener. I have strained them. This is the smaller of the strainer. We have a three, stra a three size strainer set. This is actually the medium of the strainer set. It's just got some strawberries ready for the dessert I'm gonna prep afterwards. So again, three pack, what I love about this strainer set is the fact that it's like a bowl as well. So it's, you know, easily, I don't have to bother um, changing it. I normally, when I buy grapes or blueberries, I strain them by, I clean them in here, right in here, keeping them going along. And then I can just eat them right out of this bowl strainer right off of the counter. So I love the fact that they're, it comes in three sizes. They're dishwasher safe as well. The mesh on it, you can see there, it's it's thin, but it's not too thin. So if you are straining something like a rice or even the quinoa, 
you might actually want to use the thinner, um, the other strainer. Hello, Kim, Carol, Barb, hello. Um, so you might want to use that. So I've got the black beans ready. I have the, the zucchini and the red pepper ready. And now I'm just going to open the tomatoes. Now they're asking us to leave the tomatoes in their own juice, okay? So once we get that can opener on there, it's tight as tight can be. Barb, have you used your can opener yet? Love it. Um, and what I love most about it is that sucker, once it's on, it's tight. You can fling things around. It's lovely. It will be not, oh, non cutting. I love live. It's great. There's the lid right on there. Popped right off. You can see there not sharp at all. Of course, there's tomatoes all over my counter. Love it. Um, goodness gracious. Uh, I'm just going to clean up that tomato juice a little bit. Okay, so I am actually using a uh, chili seasoning tomato. It's asking for a spicy, um, what does it say? A fire roasted diced tomato. So this was as close as I had, which was a chili seasoning tomato, and it's asking us to not strain it to keep the juices. So again, I'm gonna leave all of that because the quinoa's got another four minutes or so into the microwave, okay? Uh, and like I said, it's, it's asking for a cup of corn, frozen corn. I just went to the grocery store yesterday, didn't realize I didn't have any frozen corn. So we're just making a substitution and we're gonna, I've got frozen edamame that is um, thawing as we speak, but that's okay. It's pre-measured in my cups. These are the silicone bowls. Uh, that's the one cupper. This was the two cupper that I had the um, veggie broth in, and we also have a four cup, and all of them have lids. What I love the best about them is they've got the spout, but that they're measuring and I can see from the inside, which is awesome. And those of us who do bake and cook often, Multiple things that measure are awesome. For example, the grapes are already pre-measured in a one cup bowl. I didn't have to bother with anything else. That bowl is a one cup. I could just add it to it. And that's what I love. The ease of recipes and the ease of my Pamper Chef products into my kitchen, making my life a little easier. What I love about this recipe is that I am not heating up my house at all. And although we've got a few different eaters here in the house, we all can add two hours and you can make it the way that you want to make it. Okay, so in the meantime, I'm going to start off with our dessert. So, um, I am going to add my dessert, which is a fruit salad, into our medium stone bowl. So this is the glaze set. Uh, it's part of the entertainment set. Uh, you don't get this with the entertainment set. You buy that. You do buy this separately. But what I love about it is it's a, it's an accent piece that you can buy alternatively. It's a great little size because it's gorgeous for salads. Uh, obviously, we're going to have fruit salad in it. But even as a side, mashed potatoes, stuffing, anything that we would have in this, I love it. And because it's stone, it too can go into the oven. Uh, the microwave, the dishwasher, the fridge, the freezer, it's amazing. It's a beautiful, beautiful size, and I know someone who has it on her wish list, um, and I'm, I'm happy to report that it's back. So, this is the medium bowl, and I've got strawberries cut up, so I'm just going to, there we go. So, we're going to add strawberries. It says red or green grapes, which I've got green, uh, red grapes. Uh, it asks for a half a cup to a cup. They're teeny tiny. So we're having a whole cup. It's asking for um, a kiwi. I was not buying kiwi this week. We've had it for a couple weeks and I was just kind of kiwied out. So when I saw the recipe, I've got big, beautiful, juicy blueberries right now. I don't know if you guys have bought blueberries in the last couple weeks, but they are spectacular. They're like little pieces of candy. They are so great. So this recipe, the substitution is instead of having kiwi, I'm gonna have some blueberries. So this fruit salad is gonna have some strawberries, some pineapple, 
blueberries and some grapes and we're gonna make a even a salad dressing for the salad and mix it all up and we're gonna add some almonds and uh, it does ask for some mint leaves. I don't have any mint leaves. If anybody in the hood is growing mint leaves, I, I would love some. Um, apparently I need to this weekend go buy some mint. I thought I, I, thought I was growing mint and I'm not. Um, so anyhow, that's the easy recipe and we're gonna start that in one minute. The microwave is just about to beep so I do wanna grab the quinoa because I wanna get that next set prepped up so that you guys can see how fast and easy because like I said, start to finish, this is only about a 20 minute dinner and my house is not getting hot, which I love. Okay, so I'm just taking this out of the microwave. Obviously it's stinking hot. These are our silicone gloves. What I love about the silicone gloves, uh, I'm a bit short, so they do go, you know, almost to my elbow, about halfway through my, uh, onto my arm, which is great. Um, they are a bit big, but they're not too big. I mean, I do have, the only thing small on me is my hands. God knows my mouth, nor my butt, nor my hair are small. Um, but I do love that they are they are fine. So if you do have bigger hands, they fit as well. Uh, but they too can go onto the oven. Uh, yeah, duh, they can go on the oven. The barbecue. So again, because your barbecue normally gets super hot, it's great, you can use these as well. So I'm just gonna take the lid off. I'm gonna stir off the quinoa for a little bit. Okay, just stirring up that quinoa. The moisture has almost all dissipated. Let me show you there. Okay, so it's almost all dissipated. There's the quinoa. Oh, Donald, we are too far from one another to get mint, but I know where to get some next time and maybe I need to take a shoot and bring it to my house. Okay, so with the quinoa, I am now going to add the veggies. So like I said, I've got the peppers and I've got the zucchini all sliced up. I'm gonna throw that in there. I'm also going to throw in two cloves of garlic, so therefore I'm gonna add three, maybe four cloves of garlic, because I love garlic. I am not gonna peel my garlic, because I don't have to with my garlic press. And tossing the garlic right in there. There's my peeling, oops. There's my peeling right there, which is awesome. And again, pressing more down. All right, and then, I'll, then I'm going to add, oh boy, zucchini and the veggies. And I'm gonna add the, am I adding the? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna add the black beans and I'm going to add the tomatoes. And again, we're leaving the juice into the tomatoes. I'm gonna to mix all that up. That's gonna give a little bit more juice to it. I'm actually just gonna add a tiny bit of water just to get all the tomatoes off of the bottom. Not a lot, there we go. And already this smells amazing. The garlic and the um, the garlic and the tomatoes with the quinoa smell incredible. Uh, I am gonna add the edamame as well. And I'm also going to add the, so it's asking for a teaspoon, one to one and a half teaspoons of cumin. So I'm going to add one whole teaspoon. This is a half a teaspoon that I took out. So I'm just gonna add one whole teaspoon and it's asking for a the same, a half of a teaspoon of chili powder. So I am just gonna keep the half a teaspoon because if it's too hot here, I won't eat it. So I'm just gonna add that half a teaspoon, okay? Now, it is going to ask us to put in some lime, and we're gonna do that at the end. So again, I'm just gonna stir all that up. Already it is very colorful. I mean, obviously it should have the yellow with the corn, but what else? We'll go with the flow of life here. It smells amazing. Um, like I said, it's been so long since I made this that um, I forgot how delicious it is. And it's a great alternative for a day like today. So you can see there how great that coloring is. I am going to add 
put a lid back on, just making sure I'm doing this right. Yes, and I'm gonna put this on for another eight minutes. Just cooking that up. Should have had the microwave open. There we go. All right, I'm gonna to toss it in for another eight minutes. And in the meantime, we're gonna get our fruit salad done. Okay, so once that comes out, that's it. We stir in some, I'm gonna squeeze some lime juice over top of it, and that's it, guys. Dinner will be done in that 20 minute time. Like, mind blowing easy peasy. And, like I said, you can serve that hot or cold, which is incredible, especially on a day like today, when you might not feel like eating a whole heck of a lot. Uh, it's great on a bed of lettuce. It's delicious if you want to add shrimp or chicken to it, or just eat it like that. It's awesome. Uh, okay, so we've got the medium bowl. We are going to slice the strawberries up. Okay, so I've got them already rinsed up and I'm just going to take my Santuco knife. Now I can take the uh, coated or the regular, it doesn't matter. And I'm just going to slice them. And I'm gonna keep mine in a kind of a bigger chunk, okay? Not too small. I love a good chunky fruit salad. And so I'm cutting even these big strawberries just into four. Beautiful. The, small, the medium ones, I'm cutting them into threes. Again, the ease of my favorite five inch Santuco knife. Wait till you see the big one I'm gonna use for the pineapple. And I am gonna talk about the pineapple uh, slicer. So we've got our strawberries all done in there, okay? Linda's saying, what berries? Barley, yes, yes, you're right. Barley or couscous could totally work for that recipe, Linda, you're right. Why run to the grocery store and get something, you know, if you don't have to, whatever you have in your house. This is actually really good as well with just rice. If you've got a brown rice, last week I did talk about a brown, or a couple weeks ago, I guess, it was a brown sticky rice. If you've got that into that house, it doesn't have to just be quinoa. I happen to have, like I said, a multicolored quinoa, but if I didn't, I totally 100% could have done a rice or anything. This is just an easy, simple bowl, which again, we all love to do and we all love to have, and it's really, really simple. Okay, so we've got our strawberries. I'm gonna add our blueberries, which I have already cleaned. And like I said, these are our one cup purples, so I didn't have to measure them. Once they're to the top, I know it's one cup. I'm not going to slice this, the grapes in the recipe that I will, excuse me, attach. It's asking us to slice the grapes, but I gotta show you, these are like little teeny weeny little suckers. In fact, the blueberries are almost as big as the grapes. So therefore, I'm not even gonna slice the grapes in half and I'm just gonna mix that around. Now, we are gonna slice up a pineapple and it's asking us for about a half of a cup of pineapple, okay? So, I do have my flexible cutting mat and I left the flexible cutting mat here because I love the fact that I can just take and put the uh, garbage from the tops of the pineapple right into the compost, okay? So I am going to be using my chef's knife Again, like the Santuco knife, these are the professional grade knives. They are guaranteed for life. If anything happens to the tip of your knife, if the blade, for whatever reason, chips, anything is to happen, rusting of any kind, you call me, text me, send me a message, and I'm gonna get you one for free uh, and replaced. No questions asked. Now, I wanna show you let me move this out here for a second because I want to show you the ease this is going through the pineapple. Uh, in fact, it's so easy that I'm afraid it's always going to cut through my mat. These are very, very sharp when you first get them. And because they are professionally great, they can be sharpened as well. Incredible, incredible knife. Um, okay, so we have the pineapple core, which I think I have showed you guys a couple weeks ago. Um, and I'm going to slice my pineapple in half. Now why, why would you need to slice your pineapple in half if you have the pineapple core, which is similar to the apple core? Well, I do want to point out that
that I am vertically challenged, five feet tall doesn't do much for me. So if I have a pineapple there and I'm trying to push it down, I find because I am shorter, sometimes I have a hard time. So if I slice that in half, and then I just push it right into the center of the pineapple, then it gives me the, the ursha that I need to, to push it down. Now, you can see there it hasn't quite cut all the way through, so now I'm gonna put the protective case back on, and what that does is it helps me pop the center out, and there you go. The sides of the pineapple are gone, the ease of cutting your pineapple is there. I'm telling you, this is a, one of those tools that I bought years ago from Pampered Chef when I was a customer, and I do not regret it because I can buy a pineapple when they're on sale, $2.99, $3, whatever, and not have to worry about how am I going to slice it. So I'm just gonna slice this pineapple and chunk it up, and I'm gonna toss that into my fruit salad. It's asking for about a half of a pineapple. So if you wanted to, you can even slice your chunks a little bit smaller, just to let spread it around. You do want to eat it with a fork. I'm just realizing I might have made my chunks a little bit big. Uh, I can see arm wrestling here at our house for the pineapple. Uh, that's one thing everyone here likes, except the guinea pigs, if you can believe it. They're weirdos, they don't like it. So. We've got our big, beautiful salad started there. I'm gonna quickly make a dressing. And I'm actually going to be using, once again, the whipped cream maker. Whipped cream maker isn't just for whipped cream, folks. So again, I can use my whipped cream maker to add the dressing, and then I can pour it over top. That's the joys of pineapple. Everything is very, very, sticky. Okay, so the dressing is very simple. It is actually just uh, one teaspoon of lime zest, which again, I'm going to be using one of our new products, which is the grater that goes with the juice zester. So I'm just going to use the the zester from the cheese. Just gonna add that to the bottom. It's asking for two teaspoons of lime juice. So I'm actually just gonna take a half of a lime and I'm just gonna squeeze. Now again, those of you who haven't seen my citrus press, I just cut my lime in half. I turn it upside down and I just squeeze right into it. So it's asking for two teaspoons, that looks about right to me, which is about a half of a lime. So I've got that in there, you can see there squishing around. And I'm gonna add two teaspoons of honey. So I've got an organic honey, and I'm gonna use my measure all cup. And again, I talk about this so much because I don't like my hands wet or sticky. And so what I love about them is that you can use it both ends. So I can use the dry side, which is I'm gonna measure from the blue, if I'm gonna use the sticky side, I'm gonna use it to the red. So I'm just gonna move it to the two teaspoons. I'm gonna take my honey. I'm just gonna pour that in there. Woo! Comes out faster than you know. Uh, and then I just have to push that down, right down. And all of the honey, nothing is wasted, and my hands aren't sticky, which is incredible. Uh, and then I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of salt and the salt just cuts the sweetness a tiny bit and anything that is tart it'll help. It's asking for a quarter teaspoon. So I'm just gonna give it two kind of turns of my grater. And then I'm just gonna put my lid on and I'm just gonna turn that around a tiny bit there. There we go, okay? So now it's asking for uh, asking for two tablespoons of sliced almonds. And like I said, it's supposed to have some mint, which not only would be delicious, but would look pretty in our bowl. Let me move that, hang on. Let me get the best way so you guys can see that. There we go, there's our bowl. I'm just gonna pour the dressing right onto that salad. It's gorgeous, it smells incredible. 
what I love is I have not had my oven on, nor will I today, and I've got a fast summer uh, dessert and dinner that have been done together in about 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna add those almonds. I actually have some slivered almonds. Asking for two tablespoons. Just gonna throw that on top. All of you who might be allergic to nuts, don't do this. Um, and if you want to add more almonds, I mean, I'm not judging. God knows I love that. But look at this gorgeous, simple summer dessert. Smells incredible. The lime juice, the blueberries, the pineapple, a gorgeous explosion in your mouth. And the mint leaves on top would just be an added plus. I'm going to get over that. Okay, I'm just going to take out the quinoa because I want to show you guys how simple this is. That we got done dinner in 20 minutes. We can now slice up some avocado, top this with even some shredded cheese, uh, like I said, some shrimp, and apparently I'm getting another spoon because I forgot. So I'm just gonna show you there. There's a little bit of liquid left in. It tells you to let it rest for five minutes and then serve it. I'm gonna get closer so you guys can see this. You've got a beautiful quinoa summer dish served hot right now. I'm gonna serve mine cold. I'm gonna serve mine kind of like a salad bar and have lettuce and have some uh, alternatives for protein, shredded cheese, sour cream, and avocado. This dinner is done. This dinner was done in 20 minutes and my house is not hot. That's what I love, ease of everything. And with summer, you know, the summer heat's coming, we're just gonna keep doing some of these easy summer recipes. So I hope you continue to have a great Wednesday. Thanks for popping on with me and enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy the heat because we know it's not gonna last.